Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Scott here, and today we're going to start our op art drawing. I'm going to turn this plain white piece of paper into something that looks like um, a bunch of cones are all lined up in the middle. So we're going to make it look very three-dimensional just with our arrangement of space and shapes and our use of shading. So to get started, we need a square piece of paper, and right now we have a rectangle. Um, so the way to turn this into a square is just to take one corner, pull it down, and match it up to the side, and be careful to match that point up as close as you can to exactly, and then just seal that down, and that's going to give you a space like this that you are going to cut off. All right, this is what you have now. Um, we're going to go ahead and we have one diagonal line. We're going to fold corner to corner to make a second diagonal line that intersects with that. So go ahead and make a second diagonal fold so that you have a big X with your folds. So you should see both of mine there. Okay, then we're going to fold up this direction. And open it up. And then we're going to fold this direction as well. Alright, so now on our Page. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. All right. So the next thing that we're going to start doing around our page is we're going to start with lines going. Whoops. Sorry. Couldn't quite see my fold exactly there. So we're going to make some rounded lines. This space is going to have a line that rounds this way. The next space, sorry, excuse me there. The next space is going to come inward. Okay, so the first space is going to have a curve this way. The second space is going to have a curve the opposite way. The third space, again, is going to come up and over. The next space is going to scoop down. Next space is up and over. The next space is scooping down. Next space up and over. And the next space scooping down. And you're trying to make this look very rounded. Okay, so this is what we have so far. All right, now I'm going to work in each section. So I'm starting with this little piece of the um, piece of the pizza, so to speak. Okay, just this one shape right here. And I'm going to follow, if this line curves this way, then the next lines are also going to curve that way. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay, and then in this next section, they're going to, again, they're going to follow this line um, out on the edge that we made first. We're going to stay with that same direction of the curve. So this curve goes this way, so also these next curves will also curve that way. And you can see they get a little more curved as they come in because there's not as much space. So they can't be quite as much of a gentle curve because as they come in they have to be able to curve and get to the other side. So these are a little bit more dramatic. Okay, this one's following this side. Up and over, up and over, up and over, and under. Oops, I went too far. And that may happen to you too. So I guess that's good to show. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And right here, this is a problem because of this, how it's angular. 
So I want to go back and fix this so that this is more rounded, so that the optical illusion looks realistic. All right, now I'm in this next, next space over. Working with a broken pencil here, but I'm trying not to switch over so I don't have to redo my video. <laughs> and then finally under. We'll see if I can make it under. Under. Okay. So I might go back in here and just check and make sure all the lines are curving and they're not uh, angular looking at all. Okay. This one looks like a little, needs a little adjustment as well. Here. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Now, when we begin to add our color, we're going to need to know where our black spaces are. So we're going to simply put a B where our black spaces are going to be, and then we will know that the leftover spaces will remain the white of the paper. Okay? So I'm just going to pick a spot to start in. This is going to be black. Skip a, skip a space going around. This is going to be white. This is going to be black. This is going to be white. This is going to be black. This is going to be white. This is going to be black. This is going to be white. Okay. Now going down, this is also going to um, alternate. So black, white, black, white. Okay. White, black, white, black. This little tiny space in here is black, white, black, white white, black, white, black, black, white, black, white, white, black, white, black, black, white, black, white, and white, black, white, black. So now all of my spaces are marked. Now we're ready for the video for next week. When you get it to this stage, just set it aside and wait for next week's video and we will continue on.